Hey guys, it's Brendan. I bet some of you are wondering, what is going on with Rodina? There hasn't been an update in a really long time, and, you know, maybe not posting on the forums as much as I used to. Uh, so I really wanted to give a video update and keep you guys in the loop and tell you what's been going on. Um, so first is some good news. Uh, Rodina is still being worked on. I still work on it. Uh, in fact, there is a beta for the next update out right now. So I, I just finished. Uh, it was a real slog. It was a pain in the butt. But um, but it's finally done. So that's really good news. Regina 1.5, check it out. Um, I'll talk more about the update in a different video, but um, I'm really excited about it. The bad news is that Rodina has stopped making money, uh, which is kind of expected. It's been out a really long time, and Steam is just growing. There's so many games on Steam now that it's a little bit harder to be a game like mine. So I have had to take contract work in order to support its development. So that's bad, obviously, because it really limits the amount that I can work on Rodina. Uh, this update took a lot longer than previous ones. And so that's a bummer. Um, it's not ideal, and I really miss being able to work on it full time. But the good news, I mean, the thing that's really, really great about it is, well, first of all, I get to keep doing it. So, you know, uh, also the stress is just so much less. You know, I love Rodina, and I'm really happy that I I did it, but, like, going into debt <laughs> to make it was not exciting. And so, uh, well, it was exciting, but not in the right way. And so, you know, being able to get a little more financially secure is good. But also, the more important thing, as far as the game's concerned, is that it's really freeing. So, like, before, every update that I worked on, I was thinking about, how do we, you know, what update can I do to impress people to get this game noticed? But now that things are a little more stable, I really have an opportunity to work on things that need to be done and things that, you know, are going to drive us closer to, like, the roadmap goal, which is shipboarding. So it's actually been a bit of a, a hidden blessing. Um, this update is, is, a, is a good example. Um, I'm going to talk about it in depth in another video, but the basic idea is that um, I wasn't able to make progress on the game in the way that I wanted, really since, um, since Rodina was released. One, one of the very first obstacles that I came up against was that, um, was that some of the internals for the engine were holding me back, but I, I didn't have the opportunity to take you know, a lot of time to, to fix it, essentially. So because of those changes, I'm really excited about the future of the game. The next update in particular is going to be really serious, and it's going to change the way the game is played on a fundamental level. There's going to be a lot of gameplay improvements, and none of that stuff would have been possible if not for, you know, it's ironic, if it, if it weren't for the fact that Rodina kind of stopped making money I, I wouldn't have the opportunity to do this, so I'm, I'm really kind of grateful for it, actually. And I'm really, really, really excited about the next update and the ones coming after that. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, this is my first video in years, but it's also my first video since I put up the El Presidente board, the Heroes board. So everybody here is in the El Presidente tier, and that's part of the reward is to be up on the wall in perpetuity. I don't know how long that lasts. I think it might be forever. So thank you to everybody in the El Presidente tier, and thank you to everybody who's ever supported the game, and to all you who are sticking with it, watching, following it. Um, I am sorry that progress is slow, but the, the great thing is it's going to continue. So thanks for everything, and I'll see you next time.